this should be good enough. Ah! What is up, YouTube? You guys guessed it. Today, we are going to be mixing all of these chips together. And we're going to see what it tastes like. And in the finale, I'm going to put one of these in there. The Ghost Pepper Carolina Reaper Super Spicy Chip. Honestly, I don't think it's gonna go well because I'm gonna die after this, but who knows? Maybe all these other chips will dilute the flavor of it, making it more bearable. If you guys were wondering what all these chips taste like together, we're about to find out. Think of it as an ultimate Chex mix, because that is just crazy. Let's start off with the limon lace. I like the fact that this bag has this mouth because you can just go like that. <laughs> okay, comment down below. What is your favorite chip? You wanna know what mine is? I don't know why, it's just addicting. Once I eat one, I eat like 20 more and then after I eat 20 I'm like I'm done and then I eat 50 more and I end up eating the whole bag so I don't know why I just like this perfect for car rides comment down below what's your favorite chip hey Philip what's your favorite chip uh sun chip cheddar you like the cheddar one, eh? Talking about this, you like this one? Do you guys like sun chip cheddar chips or whatever? So let's put that into the mixture here. Some of these chips I have not heard of before, like the sea salt popcorn or something. <laughs> it's sea salt. It's like popcorn. Imagine popcorn. A chip. And we got some sweet southern heat barbecue sauce. Did you know there are probably five really unhealthy foods out there? Donut, because it's just donut, sugar, and then carbs, bad for you. Two, popcorn, butter, sugar, carbs, bad for you. Potato chips, like they provide no health benefits. I mean, they're good, it makes you happy, but they're not good for you. But people still eat it. All right, I'm gonna put some of these ruffles in here. Oh my gosh, there's a popcorn version. Oh, 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 and we have uh, Cheetos. I'll put this in here. And if you guys are wondering how I'm gonna mix it together in the end, stay tuned. I used to think this was a cool, really, really nice bag. It used to be my fifth grade snacking thingy. Oh my gosh, never mind. It's still very delicious. I don't know why I stopped eating it, but it's still pretty good. Fun fact, the maker of the Flaming Hot Cheetos, he used to be a janitor, okay? He loves elotes, which is like corn and spicy seasoning. And he came up to the president of Cheetos. Let's make this. And now he's part owner of this. See, you can start from the bottom and go all the way to the top. As long as you believe in yourself, you're confident in your product, you can go really far. Here's some bean chips. Benitos. Benitos! Yo, that's good. <laughs> wow, perfect. For some reason, I don't like plain chips. Mmm, I just think it tastes weird. Do you guys like plain chips? If you love potatoes, just the flavor of potatoes and salt, perfect for you. Oh boy, I just like anything flaming hot. So here's another flaming hot Cheeto. It's like puffiness. So nice, look at that. Wow. Did you know flaming hot Cheetos? Most sold thing in the Cheetos lineup. So shout out to that janitor. Hey, here's another one. This is sour cream. Do you love sour cream? I can mess with sour cream every now and then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, here's another popcorners. White cheddar version. Ha. All right, guys, let's take a break. Let's see what we have in here. So far, so good. Seriously, it's like a giant Chex mix. It's just insane. All right, here's another one. Barbecue flavored. You guys like this? Honestly, if this is in the pantry, I'd eat it. Yo, jalapeno chips. Started getting addicted to jalapeno chips not too long ago. Pretty tasty, to be honest. Hey, Raymond, what's your favorite chip? What you like? You, you guys like chicharrones? You did this in vinegar? Ooh! Ooh. Vinegar! Ooh. Ah! Let's put down Raymond's favorite chips, the chicharrones. You know how you feel? Here we go. Out of all these chips, yeah, you guys have to guess this, okay? I learned this like probably like last year. What is Barack Obama's favorite chip? Can you guys guess? This one's pretty simple, like simple guy. I can understand why he likes this chip. In an interview, someone asked him what his favorite chip is. President Obama's favorite chip is the plain old Doritos. He loves Doritos. You can't go wrong with the Doritos, dude. Whoever invented these Doritos, super duper good. All right guys, so enough chitter chatter. Uh, I just realized there's so many more chips to go. Check this out real quick. It's flaming hot ruffles. What? Ah! That's delicious. I'll put some of this in here. That's good. Okay, so update. Uh, currently, there are four chips left. Well, five. Uh, seriously, looks like a giant Chex mix. It's like the ultimate mega powerful Chex mix. Four more to go. Here we go. Oh, yeah, if you guys are wondering what I'm gonna do with all these chips later, as you can see, they're all here on the floor. I'm just gonna donate it to the local food bank after this, and uh, yeah, everyone will get free chips today. Hey! Oh! Here we go. Sun chips, French and onion. This is a good one, too. This in here. Protein chips for the gains. The regular classic Lay's chips. I don't really like this one. I think they're lame. <laughs> and last but not least, we got the guacamole Takis. Eh. <laughs> I'll put 
it on drop. And then last but not least, Pakwi, Pakwi. I don't know. Oh my gosh. It says, any last words? Yes, I will mix you up with all the other chips. So I will put you here. Oh man, this is gonna be the worst. Try not to touch it because sometimes I accidentally rub my eyes. The deadly Pakwi chip. Okay, so I have here a little mallet. So uh, let's mix it together, shall we? It might get a little messy, but all you gotta do is just grind it. We really gotta grind it as much as possible here. There you go. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Woo! All right, here we go. Here's the big, powerful, mighty mallet. Oh wow, I just sucked it in. I thought I was gonna go like But I really just sucked it in. Wow, okay, I did not expect that. All right, the question is, where is the spicy chip? Where is that spicy chip at? Honestly, don't see it, but just gotta keep mixing and see what happens here. Gotta keep mixing, boys. I think it should be good enough. There you go, as you can see, it honestly looks like Chex Mix. How well did I mix this thing? Cause if I didn't mix it well enough, uh, I'm just gonna eat it and I'm gonna have a really horrible day, but it's okay. So this is what I got, a mixture of everything here, mixing every chip together and eating it. It's good! It's good! It's really good! Wow! Wow, that's good! It's not bad. It honestly tastes like Chex Mix, but I like this one better because there's like a total of like 100 chips in there, so it's really not that bad. Mm. Philip, you wanna try some? How is that? That's not bad, eh? Really good. It's really tasteful. I'm just surprised, you know? Just because you have so many flavors in your mouth, it's kind of unbelievable. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna start a new chip lineup. It's gonna be called Juicy. Oh! Like, it's gonna be banging. Here, you guys try some. Go. Oh, that's good, right? All right, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Oh my man. Try a little bit more. Mm. I guess that's it, really. To summarize the video, this is what a whole bunch of chips mixed together look like. Crumbled up chips that look like Chex Mix, but it's very, very delicious. For the Pakwi chip, I taste a little hint of it, but it's not overpowering, you know? It kind of adds that little spiciness, but it's not overly spicy and overly unbearable. Thank you for watching today's video. Comment down below, what else do you want me to mix? Okay, let's get this video to 50K likes and uh, make sure you're a subscriber. And until then, we'll see you tomorrow. Stay juicy, everyone.